Our next winner has had a rather long wait to pick up an Animal Heroes Award. She was actually chosen last year, but she was ill and unable to attend. So I'm delighted to finally be able to say, let's find out a little bit about Gunda, Linda Goodman. I first met Linda some years ago, and I can't really remember how long, um, when she adopted two dogs from us, first one and, and then a second one, and they were ex-Puppy Farm breeding dogs. As a result of having seen what puppy farming is doing to dogs, I had to do something, and thus Carriad was formed. A few years ago, I was so desperate to, to get people to understand what these breeding dogs were going through, the sensory deprivation, for example, uh, that I decided the best way is to put a human in there. So I did it myself. Um, and I spent seven days and nights in an outbuilding. And it was, it was a lot harder than I actually thought it was going to be. I was prepared for it, but wow. You've got insects crawling all over you, and it's, it's just, you know, there's nothing. If you think about our lives today, and how much stimulation we have, and then you shut yourself off like that in solitary confinement. Um, so, you know, it, it was worth the seven days of hell, which is basically what it was, hell. But I got to get out, the dogs don't. One of the things I love about Linda is that, um, that she's there. It's one thing being at the end, on the other end of a computer or a telephone, but people need to be out and about and see what's happening and understanding the difficulties that rescues face as well, trying to rehabilitate and rehome these animals. I've had various encounters with puppy farmers and dealers over the years, not surprisingly. I've had people try to run me off the road. That's public roads. Um, I've had people threaten to kill me I've had people threaten to shoot me on the other side of fences. So, you know, these are not nice people. And I can't recommend that a lot of women particularly go out there and try and do this, but, you know, these are the risks you take when you need to expose what's going on. The biggest challenges are the laws that let animals down. And that's why the biggest challenge for all campaigners like me is to change the laws is to get the evidence and to show why we need to improve things for animals now. We've banned third party sales uh, of puppies and kittens in England. More recently, we've banned third party sales of puppies and kittens in Scotland. And of course, down to you pretty much single handedly and uh, with Eileen and Sue, you've banned puppies and kittens sold by third parties in, uh, in Wales as well. So you know, in the next couple of years, the UK mainland will be rid of cruel third party dealers, which is, as everyone knows, enable and encourage um, puppy farming to happen behind closed doors and puppy smuggling too. Linda is one of the bravest people I know. She is so resilient and you have to be after what she's been through. Roadblock after roadblock after roadblock of people saying, no, you can't. But she knew what she was doing was right. She knew that she had to save those dogs. And she knew she had to fight against a cruel industry. And she kept on saying, yes, I can, and it needs to be done. I can't think of anybody else more deserving for this award. So on behalf of, of our gang uh, and every animal lover out there, thank you so much for all you've done. Uh, there would be no Lucy's Law without you. I kept dreaming that I was still in there. And a lot of the dogs that have come to me for rehabilitation or that I've adopted have the most dreadful nightmares. And they scream. And if you have a dog that has nightmares, it's, it's just, you kind of now know why. 
They're just reliving this time of hell. What an incredible insight. I don't think many people would even think to put themselves through that, but it's amazing that you did. And I know you were supposed to get this award last year, but in a way, you know, we've got another year to see how Lucy's Law takes full effect. And what have you seen in this last year? What's changed with Lucy's Law? Well, um, first of all, I just have to say that this amazing award I'm really honoured to accept, but I want to also share it with my colleague, Sue Davey, who's here, because she and my other colleague, Anna Cossart, who I've lost the first for us, they make me look good. <laughs> And although I'm sharing it with you, I'm keeping it at my house. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing I was just like to say, an amazing thank you to two amazing men. Um, one is a force of nature, who is the amazing Mark Abraham. Yeah. And the other, the national treasure, Mr. Peter Egan. I've become obsessed since I've been working at Battersea and filming there because we get van loads. Yes, I'll see you in a minute. We get, we get van loads coming in of dogs in the most appalling state. You can't imagine. In fact, last week we had a little uh, bull terrier. She's nine. Her eye was so badly ulcerated it had to be amputated and she was just skin and bone. 
But Battersea, thank God, will get her well and she'll go to a good home. But people like you, you're raising the profile of puppy, you know, you're making people aware about puppy farmers. And never, ever, I'm always saying on the radio, I'm getting told off, buy a dog off the internet, especially that gum tree. And no, really, never. You know, if, if you can't go to a reputable breeder, you know, and see the dog with its mother and see how they react, yeah, then go and get a rescue dog. Yeah. Um, can't you to either, try fostering a dog for a while. That's another thing that, you know, some people can't take dogs on a permanent basis, but yeah. they love and have experience with dogs. See, I could never foster. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I'd have had 10,000 dogs if I was a foster parent. That'd be pathetic. <laughs> but this is so well deserved, and you're so brave, because as I said, these people are nasty. You know, nasty. You're out there, sausage. We'll be going in a minute. <laughs> they are nasty, and you've taken them on, and you've got real bottle. You're my kind of woman, Linda. You really are. Ladies and gentlemen, will you put your hands together for this remarkable lady and for the incredible work that she's doing. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Linda. You want your dog back? Where is she? I'll take her. Are we going down the ramp? Go on, then. <laughs>